I want to show you guys how easy it is to hook up one of our silencer kit foam cannons. Check this out. So basically you're going to look for the outlet of your power washer. That's where the injector is going to go. Usually there's a quick disconnect. Looks like this. If yours doesn't look like that, then let us know. We have all of the different styles. And then you just take your foam injector. And this cuts 100 parts water automatically. That's at least the way we ship them but you can make them chop up to 200 to one you want, or you can do 10 to one, it goes a whole range with the ratio tips that come with it. So then you hook your hose back up, and that's it. For our foaming soap, we're gonna use our new heavy duty wash. Use it this strength, it'll be a good vehicle wash. So we'll just drop the pickup tube right in there from the injector, and we're ready to go. Then after your injector's on there, you just take this thing and you plug it in wherever the nozzle goes, right here, or you can put it in right there at the trigger if you have a disconnectable lance and then that'll turn on your foam injector. To shut off the foam injector, all you have to do is put your rinse nozzle back on. So then, uh, you know, that eliminates having to go back to the power washer at all. Uh, so we're just about ready to rock and roll. Now I'm gonna time how long this takes to turn on now, and then we're gonna do a comparison of how long the soap used to take to turn on when the customer would press their soap button over there. But anyways, here we go, this should turn on the soap. So now let's try it the way they used to do it, where they would come over here and they would press this button. And now let's time this, see how long this silt takes to come out now, let's see. would take that long to shut off too so it's uh, kind of a little bit of wasted soap the other way as well just waiting for the damn soap to shut off man this poor thing hasn't had a bath since yesterday time to test out the new wash bay here we go 